coming to you live from our studios here in Accra. Good evening. My name is Kweju Echampon, and this is Newsbeat. We are beginning with some interesting story where the Supreme Court is currently deciding on the case of two Rastafarian students who were denied admission into the Achimota Senior High School following their dead dreadlocks. The court is expected to pronounce its final verdict on the case today. the parents of the youth, the children, school children, are members of the council, but I don't think the council will, will take any decision. We are just here to support the parents, you know, who are members of the council. I'm hoping that uh, it will go on well, as we expect the judge to defend uh, the constitution of Ghana, the human rights, child rights, and all those rights. So, by going, going by that, I hope that you will get the right verdict and the children will be admitted to the school. Well, um, she, um, she said that the, 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 the child has to go back to school because the grievances that I am actually actually were right. It was right. So I think it's a better human right. And they couldn't convince the judge that um, cutting the hair and stopping him from going back here yeah, for in Crabia to see what's going to happen. But I know he want it. You know what I mean? So yeah, but I couldn't find any reasonable, you know, I mean, any reason, you know, with them. Um, uh, how could just one child, you know what I mean, cause something like that? And just like so I've been joined via Zoom by our correspondent at the court in the person of Christopher Aticho. Christopher, can you hear me? Christopher, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, hello, hello, I can hear you. Okay, My so what, what is the latest at the court? Right, so, so, so today happened to be the final verdict of the the long case that uh, really still happens to be battling out with education. Uh, today, the Justice uh, Tifty H. A. Adu of the Supreme Court, particularly the Human Rights Court, one pronounced the final judgment on this particular case of education battling out with religion because uh, she says that or her final verdict indicates that on no account can anyone be discriminated based on his religious practices until today. It means that the case has gone in favor of the two Rastafarian uh, students by name Nana Kweku and Krabia and also uh, Siren Magai. And uh, right at the premises of the Supreme Court, um, okay. the, the, the Jubilant family are here. We okay. have the support of the entire Rastafarian Council and also other friends and family who are here to also um, 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 share with them in their, or, or provide their solidarity. Okay, okay, you can speak to them. We are all here. Thank you very much. So I have with me um, um, uh, Nana Kweku and Krabia, who is also a student, or one of the students for the victim who was um, denied this particular great opportunity. Sure. Today has happened to be the day that um, the entire world and then the um, Ghana, together with the judge, Justin Kweku, they pronounced you victorious of this particular case. How does that make you feel in the first place? Looking for a camera and then say something. No, I'm fine. Louder. I'm in bed. I have my eyes And I'm hoping to go tomorrow. Right. So in the first place, when you got the admission in to watch motor school, I believe that you were too excited. And then upon switching the hearing that particular study, you gave me something. Tell us, how was the feeling at that time? And then the feeling now being. Um, um, a chance to be, or given the opportunity, that you go back. Here. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I'm, like I'm, this. I can't remember Is it okay? Uh, right. So, um, finally, before you take a look of it, what should Achimota to expect from you after coming on board? Well, um, I, I, I think Alright, thank you very much for talking to us. So that is Nana Kweku and Krabia, um, one of the Rastafarian students who 
um, have now been given the opportunity to the green light to go back to school at the Atmoto Senior High School. And he says the Atmoto Senior High School should actually expect nothing but a um, lot of intelligence stuff from him because even at age eight, he was enrolled into IPMC, um, an IT school school in Ghana. Um, and if I have Tyran, um, my guy also around. Tyran is around. Let me also talk to him also um, to find out his, his, his feelings. Tyran, how do you feel um, upon today's birthday? I feel excited. And I feel one of our amazing, fantastic mm. Right. So um, before you, 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 you had the admission into school, you were too excited. And then when you got there, then this sad incident happened. How did you take it? And then now that you've been given, you've been given the admission, how is the feeling like? It was sad for because first of all, getting admission into Ajimota is the most amazing subject to work You haven't got a there's two personally had some other issues because we're saying that you would probably come and then you know implement other people and then put a whole thing in their academic or their other Okay, Christopher. All right. Hello, Christopher. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I, yeah, I, I believe you. the atmosphere is charged there, and it is so I you, interesting. I, I believe you, you, you can give us more. But time will not really permit us this particular time, and we would have more time to spend with you tonight on News All right. R. All right. OK, so All right, MK, that's OK. Yes. So um, uh -huh. reporting from the Supreme Court of Ghana, particularly the forefront, the particularly the forefront where the case today between um, education and um, religion came to play where Rastafarians were... Okay, okay, so we would have more of whatever we are discussing here in tonight's edition of News R. Okay, Very so... Well, yeah, so that will be it by way of News R for... or News Beat for tonight. My name is Kweju Echampon. Do enjoy the rest of our programs. <laughs>